Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy, this time with a StarCraft uh, Retro Replay cast as we have a very interesting engagement here, I believe from the year 2020. So I'm going to write exactly the date this time on to the uh, game name. And yeah, let me just start by introducing the players to you guys as we have spawned here in the lower right, in the red. This is Serral from Finland. I believe he was the world champion back at this time. Of course, he's still very, very active into the StarCraft 2 scene. And his opponent spawning here in the upper left part in the light blue. It is Zest, one of the best known Protoss player back in the day. So one of the most talented and I believe even the best Protoss player there was in 2020. So quite an interesting game we have here in between the two pro players. Let's just see what exactly their build orders are going to be as we see already. Zest opening up here pretty standardly with his pylon, with his gateway and then followed up by gas by the looks of it. Uh, Zest has also moved out very early with his probe blocking the first expansion point. So Serral had to be forced to go into this location right here to expand. And yeah, he's going to follow up with his spawning pool and extractor. So the pretty standard build order here, like we've seen many Zergs do this. Nothing out of the ordinary, so no early aggression by the players. The pretty standard build order here. And yeah, let's just see how things will continue. Of course, Zest takes his expansion now, as uh, Serral also did take his. I believe around the 2 minute and 30 second mark, Serral, uh, sorry, yes, Serral will actually take his other expansion point as well. The map they're spawning here is Berlin Glade, I believe the two spawning location map. So yeah, let's have a look what's going to happen here. The Overlord from Serral arrives, he sees the wall of here with a cybernetic score, with the gateway. So yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Second gas also be getting built. A pylon here into the main from Zest might continue with a Stargate very soon. It might also continue with a robotics facility base. So it's going to be very interesting to see what his tactics are going to be. This is exactly why the overload right here is very important. And he indeed goes for a Stargate. So we might see some early aggression by him with some Oracles versus the economy from Zest. Let's see if this is indeed going to be the tactics here as several is actually already moving out with some zerglings on the ground and we do see some adepts uh, getting built here by zest early on to have some protection versus a early attack let's see the stargate is about to get finished gas is being mined so some oracles will very likely be spawned we might even see some void rays it would be very interesting to see some void rays so took of course his expansion right here so he's going to play that tier 1 with some zerglings, with some banes perhaps later on. Might even go for some timing push with some roaches, with some ravagers. Let's see if this is indeed going to be his tactics as we see another gateway to complete the wall of here for, <coughs> for Zest. And actually he's going for a void ray first. I believe he really wants to snipe the overlords in the air. Back in the days, Void Rays were really, really strong and actually Void Ray into Oracle. So the Void Ray first to snap some Overlords and to just gain more map awareness here, map control. Let's have a look at Zest. He's still droning up. He's still adding more and more of those Queens. Some Zerglings are getting produced. Of course, you can see the production tab here in the upper left part, just in case I'm missing something. So yeah, pretty ordinary stuff. So actually preparing like any other Zerg his macro orientated game and no early aggression by him allowing Zest to expand here but I believe very soon he might add some Zerglings to move out let's see what the Void Ray is going to be doing one kill I believe it was a overload or perhaps a, a drone or two let's see the Void Ray comes in deals damage three drones already getting killed by the Void Ray and the Oracle here into this location so a double attack by Zest nicely executed Snapping three uh, drones there from uh, from Serral. So nice move by him. Serral also nicely expanding the creep on the ground. Already making it here forward to the middle of the map. Let's see what the Oracle can do. But there is a spore here. There is a queen. So of course the Oracle has to retreat. In the meantime some Zerglings will clear the way here. And they will very likely move forward to the next uh, expansion point. Into this location. 
and we actually see a roach horn so this could be a timing push around the six to seven minute mark by several with some zerglings with some roaches would be quite deadly against the newly established base here from zest in the meantime more and more drones are getting killed so nice stuff here by zest sniping worker after worker so cell dropping to 50 workers and zest already at 53 so nice job by him as he's adding now a shield battery thinking of course that there will be an attack happening into this location there's the attack now from cell with some zerglings but there are depths on the ground there are void rays in the air <coughs> as cell is very likely going to just snipe the gas and move out and in the meantime his overlord has also been sniped here into this location so pretty <coughs> nice stuff here for both players let's see how the game will continue Cell might prepare yet another expansion or is he actually so he might transition into mass roaches not taking his third expansion here he might just pull off all into a timing push but there's also many void rays in the air so it will of course be the perfect counter towards the roaches but hold on actually zest is taking his expansion right here so still preparing more and more of a macro game i believe the same will be said here for zest as well who is very likely going to scout this expansion and then also decide to expand into this location in the meantime he's moving on with those void rays let's see if he's going to be able to make something happen here so so many queens on the ground so should of course be fine here versus all of the void rays in the air in the meantime uh, several tries of course to counter push here forward with some uh, zerglings on the ground let's see if he's going to be successful in dealing some damage against the economy even moving out with more and more queens and he might be successful here as there's just two adepts defending this some void rays will of course come back into defending but yeah both players pretty much macro oriented you can see of course from the timer it's a very long replay 30 minutes of a replay quite an interesting a replay indeed we have here in between the two pros and let's see if the voyagers will once again commit forward in the meantime cell uh, just clearing more and more of the way there comes the oracle but yeah too many queens on the ground now here for several as he's finally going for the tier 2 upgrade so let's see he might transition into some lurkers he might transition into some uh, mutilisk air would be very very strong in the meantime zest plays it very very defensively he's just preparing his macro game adding more and more gateways so this could be a transition into mass stalkers with uh, zealots and with psionic storm with templars templars of course very strong into the middle game and yeah still patrolling the map still sniping the creep axe on the ground in the meantime Cell stays onto those servants but it would be very interesting hold on we do actually have a mistake here by zest is losing two void rays Cell with some great pickups so nice nice stuff right here zest not paying attention losing those important units and let's see when exactly the attack is going to happen here from uh, Cell as he's going into some vipers so very very early vipers by him with some spire An interesting look here from the spire right out of the ordinary or perhaps he's just mutating oh he's mutating into a greater spire so nice nice stuff here by Cell. let's see what exactly he's going to be doing perhaps some corruptors with some um brutlings brutalots on, on in the air so it's good it's going to be very very strong a very very strong unit into the late game brutalots very very strong versus the gateway units you actually already see a transition here by zest into carriers so carriers already the strongest unit into the late game we will of course see a reaction by um several immediately with some corruptors of course the corruptors do counter the carriers not only that but also massive amounts of spores here for several the spores of course to counter the interceptors in the air as we see now both players closing in into being maxed out you have some zealots we even have a prism here with some disruptors so the disruptors against the Zel zerglings let's see who's going to commit just a couple of zerglings of course there will be no threat here for zest as zest is adding more and more of those units and let's see when exactly or if he's going to move out i believe indeed zest is going to be the one moving out first so around the 10 minute mark zest decide it is time to move out his upgrades are going to finish here 
speed for the zealots are going to be finishing in here and let's see what uh, he has to counter brutals already so very early brutals here for zest sorry for several as in comes the attack but there's so many spores and the brutals of course will be great to counter the ground units here from zest in the meantime so leave some zerlings here i believe he's going to try to counter with massive amounts of zerlings let's see if he's going to be successful as zest attacking onto two sides with some zealots with his main forces into this location just keeping several at bay as yeah, several has to stay back he has to split his troops leaving some zerlings here to defend and into this location as well and now even going into more and more defensive gameplay with spores yeah let's see what's the decision here from zest going to be is he going to try to attack this location right here but uh, several plays it very very defensively with massive amounts of spores and spines on the ground and yeah zest deciding now to retreat perhaps he's going to regroup and decide to go for the middle of the map in the meantime he's just going to snipe an overload here so quite a very nice defensive gameplay here for several and zest being more aggressive here patrolling the map trying to gain more and more map control just also moving out with his zealots is he going to commit here forward so so many spines have been finished in the meantime his forces are also moving out here into this location and in come the zealots indeed is going to be an attack but the sim city build order is really really nice by several just bringing forward now his um, zergens and he should be held so only a couple of spines are going to fall here as the zealots will fall indeed they will be surrounded and cell will remake now his defenses so a little bit of a failed move out here by Zest, but perhaps he just wanted to suicide those um, Zealots in order to go for some other units or other aliens. In the meantime, in comes Cell with his remaining uh, Zerglings on the ground, slapping more and more of the workers. At the same time, he's also moving out with some Banes, but Zest here to react. Still seven probes have been killed. So nice move out here by Cell this time, punishing a little bit the economy from Zest. And now Zest going into more and more of those upgrades. We even have a mothership getting produced. No, actually, a shield battery. We even have more and more units getting produced here by Zest. As now Zest also deciding to play it a little bit more defensively. And indeed, we do have the mothership now in the air with some high templars. Massive amounts of high templars for him. Psionic Storm will be ready very soon. And let's see if he's going to indeed attack or just defend here the expansion point versus several yeah let's see several also nicely patrolling the mini map but his main forces are pretty much behind and if he's going to play it very very defensively just allow more and more of the units to spawn here we even have some infestors on the ground great unit with the fungals <coughs> and once again zest is moving out we will very likely try to snipe those creep eggs on the ground in the meantime, Cell reacting, he's countering onto the, onto the other uh, side. And some Void Rays just patrolling here. So just Zest just poking here forward. The same can be said here for Cell, who is not really deciding to attack. So both players really respecting each other. So let's see when the main attack is going to happen very, very soon. As lots and lots of carriers are in the air. Orgons on the ground and some patrolling Void Rays. In the meantime, Zest just, sorry, Cell just takes another expansion here into this location. So quite a nice stuff by him. Actually a double location, but we actually do see some probes getting snapped here. So perhaps some Bane has got some connections here. I believe it happened into this location. So, or actually Zest suicided those probes. More likely he suicided the probes to have more of an, an army. So I didn't see anything happen onto the minimap. So Zest very likely just suiciding those probes in order to have more of an army supply. Already having 136 with nice upgrades here for him. In the meantime, he's going to easily snipe this location right here. But Cell having this location that might also get snapped. And he might do a trick here. He might just try to teleport all of his units. And that's exactly what Zest is doing here. As he's bringing his main forces forward. But Cell is there to react. He's immediately abducting the carriers. Lots and lots of spores on the ground. So a nice trick here by Zest. Having a global army now. Teleporting him from the high above into the low ground. But we do have parasitic bomb now onto the mothership. Still Zest being able to clear this expansion. So what a nice move by him. Just teleporting his main forces straight forward. And you can see how fast the Protoss army pretty much clears everything here. And even having vision against the ground units, against the drones. 
So several taking lots and lots of damage here. All of the probes, so all of the drones will be sniped. Zest with a great move out. I believe he's going to even try to do this trick again. Great feedbacks onto the uh, Vipers. And Vipers almost getting killed. Let's see if Zest is going to commit forward as he's doing more and more of those uh, yeah, abducts. So nice, nice stuff here by Zest. Great teleportation. And let's see if he's going to commit indeed here for. But there's also many spores on the ground here for several. He might just try to move here into this location. Just easily snap this um, expansion right here. And let's see what his decision is going to be. Once again, he's moving out with his mothership separately. So he's going to very likely try to attack once again on the high ground. And then teleport his units here into the mothership. So a very smart move. But hold on, actually. Uh, so realizing this, is he going to teleport his units? But is it going to be enough? As all of the units will very likely move forward. And a great teleportation indeed. But the mothership has fallen. Parasitic bombs immediately getting casted here by Cell. And in comes the main fleet into the force from Cell. Just going to try to snipe the hive here. But he has to hurry up. All of those units are pretty much exposed now. So nicely sniping unit after unit. And once again, he is teleporting out the units, leaving just a couple of them behind. So a smart move here by <coughs> Zest. And Cell has to rebuild his structures right here after his hive has been snapped so nice move by zest great great stuff by him snapping this expansion right here perhaps it would have been wiser for him to exp to clear this expansion right here and this one as well but then again i'm sure he knows exactly what he's doing as more and more spines will land here so slowly but steadily we're closing towards the 20 minute mark we even have some ultra risk notice that the ultra risk are bigger this is from 2020 so much much bigger unit and more healthier unit here for several in order i believe he just made those ultra risk to have some more tank abilities on the ground to be able to snap some of the expansions here from zest so zest zest expansion is not really taking damage out of several so this might cost him as zest having 33 63 workers several however having more on army supply let's see if this is going to work out for him as one war prism has once again joined the main army so both players still patrolling the map lots and lots of spores are still being added here for cell spines also into the newly established base as zest is once again uh, closing by here into this location adding more and more of those archons much needed archons and let's see if he's going to commit once again forward but several having a great position here and let's have a look what's going to happen i don't think zest is going to commit there's so so many spores and we even have a fast abduct and a kill against the carrier so smart gameplay here by several and i believe he's going to try to snap the newly established base here from zest and zest not bothering to defend this just staying onto a higher position but yeah in comes feedbacks as zest is not going to allow any more abducts in the meantime several still has this expansion right here could of course build more units <coughs> and let's see when or if the main uh, attack is going to happen and when or if zest is once again going to try to do the teleportation trick is he going for a mothership as well currently not just patrolling here the middle of the map he might get lucky to snap some units here but several immediately one shutting the important units even snapping the prism here so great pickups here for the world champion as zest is still patrolling the map here and yeah, let's have a look when exactly the main attack is going to happen. I believe Cell could try to attack this location right here. It's not really defended. Might even try to bring some of his Broodlords next to the location. In the meantime, Zest is going to also punish, also going to try to punish the newly established bases here from Cell as he's moving out with his units. And yeah, it's a nice cat and mouse gameplay here for both players as in comes the attack towards the newly established base so we'll also abandon it sadly for him he didn't cancel it and this expansion might get snapped also very soon as we do see some corruptors just flying here just patrolling the map yes that's very very close but we might see some vipers once again reacting with some abducts just to snipe one carrier after the other and let's see who is going to be the one attacking first three ultra risk on the ground lots and lots of spores indeed even a dog here joining the army from but hold on actually we had a, a mass teleportation once again so zest doing the same trick which he has done 10 minutes ago 
just having the global army here just being very very nice teleporting his units just trying to lure Sarah into this location a very smart move for him and then just teleporting everything he has towards the mothership even catching me off guard so what a nice move by him snapping the expansion immediately Sarah's mo uh, movement is of course really really slow with the brutal hold on he actually moves he out with some ultralist and now the banes even cut some great connections this will force Zest to come back but only with the mothership as he's now moving forward with his units but a little bit exposed he needs to be more careful so small mistakes here by Zest but sadly his uh, economy has pretty much gotten punished here by Cell. 20 workers have been killed so once again patrolling the map it's just a mothership here to defend with some Orcons but actually Cell looks like he's pretty much going to commit he might abduct the mothership that's exactly what he's doing and he might try to snipe it but it was over those Orcons on the ground will deal so much splash damage towards the units from Cell. so he has to retreat and perhaps he has to regroup his units Zest's units are pretty much split here and Cell might prepare an attack towards the upper part as we have passed the 20 minute mark and slowly but slowly the spores are getting more into the range from the newly established base I believe Cell looks like he's indeed going to commit here forward what exactly is Zest doing attacking his own expansion and let's have a look what is Cell actually doing now he's just pretty much uh, suiciding those brutal here now finally he's going to heal them up but in the end he's taking quite some damage as the carriers are pretty much close and we might see some abducts once again happening here for Cell as in come the Archons lots and lots of Archons onto the main but we do have mind control now mind control is being casted parasitic bombs here as well as Cell just patrolling those carriers yeah carriers holding their ground but in the end the Archons are now back and lots and lots of splash damage is going to happen here great high temple storms being casted by Zest and now the reinforcements are pulling forward and yeah, those Archons are very very deadly just pretty much melting everything into their way not mind control didn't really work out for uh, Cyril as yeah in the end Zest is going to be able to snap so so much of the army from his opponent in the meantime the counter is happening here the newly established base is going to get snapped this is what exactly the Ultralisk are for just to snap the newly established bases and I believe Zest is going to try to commit here forward Going to try to snipe as many spores as possible we even have a transition into mass stalkers now blinking forward being able to snipe perhaps the brood lords here so very smart move by zest the corruptors are coming forward but i believe zest is pretty much going to uh, transition now into mass ground units so he's going to pretty much suicide those carriers as more and more damage is being taken left and right some brood lords are still being left alive now in come the ultra risk zest is nicely kiting back and forward but this looks like indeed a transition into mass stalkers for him as he's now moving forward so the corruptors are pretty much useless now unless uh, Cyril is going for broodlords and he has to go of course for massive amounts of broodlords as Zest has transitioned into mass um, stalkers with 21 kills against the drones currently both players pretty much at the same worker count at the same army supply but yeah those stalkers are really really strong against any air and ground units and if they're being combined with some Archons, Zest might have the upper hand here as the Brutalos are not that much mobile. And let's see what Cell is going to react here. In the meantime, some Zealots will be able to take out the other expansion point and this point here as well. So what a great transition here by Zest as he's able to snipe more and more of the buildings here from Cell. And yeah, let's see how things will unfold. As slowly but steadily we're closing towards the end game. Still seven minutes zest seems to be more in control of the game he has more of an army supply so not that much of a mobile army all of those brutalos could of course be snapped in case the stalkers blink forward let's see if zest is going to commit here once again with many many investors and we do have casting fungals here against the units from zest zest has to teleport out it have been a difficult situation for him as feedbacks will be now used against the investors and let's see what's going to happen here in the meantime long distance mining happening here for zest with all of his units so quite an interesting game still anyone's game of course but like i told you those stalkers if they would blink underneath of the woodlots they would be very very deadly however Sarah still has those pores still has those spines as he's still also patrolling with the zealots onto the ground and slowly but steadily Sarah, if you look at the minimap he's losing more and more of his buildings has his hive here not really mining and the same can be said here for zest as he's also long distance mining but still importantly for him he is mining his opponent is not 
and so so many zealots now onto the ground as some brutals will take out some stalkers into this location so just needs to be careful not to lose so so many stalkers as the zealots are now moving forward and they attack the ultrarisk and very likely they will be able to snap more of the buildings still the ultrarisk very very tanky very very strong pretty much melting all of those zealots so very strong unit indeed to have into the late game in the meantime Cell is going to try to stop somehow this long distance mining with his broodlords let's see the reaction from zest with his uh, stalkers it's going to try to blink forward to snap the important units one viper after the other it's going to fall here but now he has to retreat against the broodlords yeah fungus once again getting casted some great trades here happening for both players still in anyone's game lots and lots of stalkers however still alive and the income zest uh, sorry several once again with his broodlords he really wants to snap the long distance mining here as zest is trying to hide those stalkers but very soon he will have to blink forward he will have to defend Let's see if this is indeed going to happen lots and lots of broodlings onto the ground he is going now for the expansion he's trying to bring forward his old Arkman here and lots and lots of reinforcements are pulling forward so great damage happening here but now finally a great bring forward as Zest is going to try to snipe the important blue drawings onto the air the Arkans also dealing massive amounts of splash damage still a great position getting found here by Serral as his blue drawings aren't being touched there on the high ground mind control now happening versus the Arkans from Zest as still nine probes have been sniped so Serral in control finding a good spot for those it's very very much important as Zest tries a counter attack into the middle of the game into the long distance mining from Serral and also tries to snap the spores as Serral has to of course come back but he's not that much mobile as the stalkers here and more and more buildings are getting snapped so perhaps we have a base trade scenario into snapping more and more of the buildings remember he has to kill all of the buildings from his opponent in order to win the game so Zest snapping building after building moving here forward and he might even try to teleport back home he has to very soon as in come the brutal lords with the corruptors he's however trying to snap more and more of the buildings very smart move here by uh, zest snapping even the gas so not that many buildings are being left alive here for uh, cell blinking out of danger snapping more and more of the buildings some investors do arrive but in the end the sellers will very likely be teleported back home so very smart move here by him and Cyril has not rebuilt their base and he's actually being revealed so only thing that is being left here are his units uh, sorry his buildings here and I believe he even have some spores so quite interesting we're closing towards the end game so if Zest is smart he only has to snipe the buildings here from his opponent and there is no base from Cyril let's see how Cyril is going to react so Zest perhaps with a small advantage here versus his opponent perhaps he can send some task force some uh, zealots in order to snipe the buildings from his opponent and we actually see now several move out with his spores surrounded by drones what a rare sight and with some infestors even here corruptors also in the air but there's also many stalkers still being left alive however if several finds a good position with his broodlords he will be able to snap the ground units from his opponent let's see he might try to blink here forward that's exactly what he's doing now sniping one brutal right to the other so nicely trying to kite back and forward still so so many stalkers onto the ground three brutals have been sniped and lots and lots of fungus are being casted here great fungus actually here from his opponent spores are still patrolling here the map but sadly here for zest is losing more and more of his army so what a great move all of a sudden here for uh several as he still has those many infestors that are being left alive corruptors also being left alive and now we see actually several committing here forward with his brutals does he have any units he has 60 of a supply of an army so several might try to counter exactly the uh, uh, buildings right here but i believe there were some spores into this location there were some spores here for several so several bringing his spores forward to have control of his buildings now yeah there they are there are the spores nicely hidden here even surrounded by overalls so indeed the buildings into the main will fall however the main army is of course attacking here and i believe with that several might have done it here versus his opponent his buildings will fall but remember he still has those spores hidden right here one of it very very low actually three spores i believe he has so he's going to lose 
these buildings right there but it's just a couple of ze zealots with an archon i believe they won't stand any chance even the, the drones will be able to surround the spores here giving them protection so i believe several might indeed have done it even have some zerglings here he's going to clear building after building let's see what the other units are going to be happening here as some zerglings will be snapped but yeah of course the main force here into this location and he actually has five no six spores here could even plant the spores in order to give them hp regeneration so nice nice stuff here by several uh, only by a miracle somehow zest would be able to win this game in order he to snipe all of those spores here is it going to be enough for him with the zealots with the archon very very hard indeed for him even the drones are on the ground and the investors could cast uh, bungles and even mind control against the units from zest so i believe with that several looks like he has done quite a rare sight to see those spores coming with him forward but yeah of course zergs can do that as uh, several is going to be able to snipe building after building here just moving forward and now in comes the zealous but fungus immediately reacting here another fungal and how yeah, the brutals will be able to take care of the remaining units from uh, zest so what an interesting game quite out of the ordinary gameplay here as we see uh pretty much a chaos here but we do see all of those pores even have now he has casted even mind control so yeah in the end a very nice tricky gameplay here by zest nicely teleporting his units from here to the mothership so pretty much having a global army did a trick twice but in the end Cyril just had way way too much left for him the brutals in the air the corruptors let's not forget the vipers with the abducts i believe that has also given him an advantage just pretty much abducting carrier after carrier and let's not forget that the infestors with the mind control also very strong to counter the archons and a great transition by zest in the end into the stalkers nice thinking by him just to snap brutal that's a brutal but in the end Cell found a great position here he also found a great position here to give cover towards his brutals and in the end he has nicely won this game so very interesting game from 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed this is tommy signing out